What's up guys? Happy Saturday. It's Talking to Spirits, Laughing with Ghosts. Today I'm going to do something a little different. Alright, we're going to work in our planner. Alright, and see what we have going on for the week. Alright, it's pretty cool, this planner. Um, it has. We're going to be working on week 3, January 14th through the 20th. Okay, so basically what you do is you draw a card, you write down the insights, you write down the actions. You know, what should you do, what do you want to manifest, what's going to be happening this week, um, you know, all that good stuff. Um, I'm going to be working with uh, one of my new decks today, which is the Magical Dogs Companion. Alright, so I'm going to shuffle these cards, and then I'm probably going to open up the book, and I'm going to kind of read to you guys, you know, what that card means you know what's going on with that card that kind of thing so you get a little bit of a better understanding um so let me know in the comments below if this is something that you would like me to keep up with you guys um just kind of a new idea i mean i work with it anyway so figured i would share it with you guys so let me know in the comments if that's something you know that you guys want me to continue to do with you guys um also give this video a thumbs up Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell to let you know whenever I have new videos. So let's get started and see what we have. See what card comes out for this week. I'm a little bit behind on it, but we'll try it out anyway. Also, I want to give a shout out to those that did send me super chats yesterday. I greatly appreciate it. It really helps out my channel. As always, super chats are appreciated, but they are not expected. So, a shout out to Nerd of the North, Brenda, Christina, M's Dad, and I don't know if I missed anybody. And if I did, I apologize. But a shout out to you as well. So, let's see what car we have come out. Get these real good and shuffled. All right, the card that we have that comes out is C Alpha Female. Check it out. It's a pretty cool card. So let me pull it out in the book, and I'll read you guys the meaning of it. Uh, let's see, C. Where the heck is it? C Puppy. Where in the world is it, y'all? I'm not used to looking in the books. See alpha, oh right here, see alpha female. Ooh, it's got like ink all over it. So this is a long one, um, but we're gonna read it anyway. Enthroned in a giant clamshell um, of the goddess Venus, a standard poodle with her lovely cream-coated corded sits calm and secure. She rests at the border of surf and sand, a place of transition between the physical and spiritual. Her face is turned to the vast blue waters, the resting place of the unconscious mind. Um, born aloft by a magical water spout, a giant pearl floats before her, a shimmering orb into which she gazes. Among its many colored reflections, she divines the solutions to the emotional turmoil life may bring. Nurturing and compassionate, she intuitively knows the truth. She is a gifted spiritual healer, an oracle, and a wise counselor. And then they also have pause for thought, which I think is so cute. So, being emotionally mature, warm-hearted, and honest makes you someone that people feel that they can put their trust in. You have a good intuition about things and have the compassion to share your insight with those who seek your assistance. They feel safe with you. You may be an empath, feeling the emotional energy of others. You may also voice your spirit through music, dance, or other forms of self-expression. Keywords used, emotionally mature, intuitive, compassionate, calm, healing, empathy, creative, self-expression. Alright, we didn't get it reversed. So, <coughs> excuse me. So with this card, how does it make you feel? You know, when you look deep into it and you look at everything around, how does it make you feel? All right. Are you feeling calm? I do because you're at the beach, right? I'm always calm when I'm at the beach. Being at the beach is like you just get this, for me, you get this overwhelming sense of calm and peace. You know, you can relax type of thing. All right, so in my planner, 
clearly I'm going to write down the card, which is C, alpha female. Okay. The insights. All right. Calming. Um, relaxed. Right. I'm going to write down beach. Um, intuition, feelings, love. That's what this card makes me feel like, right? You know, um, also, you know, you can reflect. All right. It reminds me of, you know, reflection. So the actions. All right. So if you're in this spot where you're feeling overwhelmed, okay, and you're feeling a certain type of way, you know, maybe you're depressed or you're just sad or kind of down in the dumps. With this card, what are the actions that you're going to take? If you were to draw this card, what are the actions you're going to take? If you can't go to the beach, all right, meditate, um, grounded, so grounding, um, relax, what else? Um, you can work on aligning your chakras. All right. So for this week, that's what needs to be done. Okay. You need to really, you know, get into your feelings, get into that happy place. What makes you feel calm, you know, cool and collected, right? That's exactly how I feel about this card. It's a great card for the week. Um, so again, let me know in the comments, you know, what you think about this. We could do it every week if you'd like. It'll just be a short video. Um, and then they move on to other things in the spread. You know, you could do the manifestation spread. You know, what do you want to do? All right. And then you work out that as well. So if that's something you guys are interested in and working on me with. Um, we could do that. Um, clearly I skipped, you know, week one and two, I've just been busy and I was really sick. Also January, for those of you that don't know, that is the lover's card. Um, <coughs> let me see if I could find it in this deck and we can kind of go over the lover's card because the lover's card in this deck is so awesome. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see here. Where are you at? Oh, here it is. So here's the lover's card in this deck. It is so, to me, it is just, I, I just love it. And I'll pull the, I'll pull the book out for that one too. And yes, I know, you don't have to have a book, but some of you guys that don't read Tarot, you know, maybe you want to learn or you want to know. Um, so with the Lover's card, I'm not, well, I guess I could read the whole thing. Um, as spring brings a new life and growth back to the world, our lovers find themselves beneath the fragrant blossoms, fragrant blossoms of dogwood trees. Clearly can't talk. A symbol of durability and affection. Eyes closed and pressed against each other in harmony. They embody the canine version of, of an embrace. In the background stands a hold megalith, commonly referred to as a marriage stone. Let me see. Oh, right here. Here's the stone. See, there's just so many things to tarot cards that they stick in there and they put in there, you know, that stand out that you may not see. So, clearly they have the marriage stone behind them, which represents the strength of their equal partnership. Neither dog dominates the other. They are soulmates, kindred spirits, celebrating the physical world together. Their noses gently sniff in the air, picking up the delicate scents of the flowers on the breeze and reminding us of the value of healthy communication and a loving relationship. Green light filters through the tender spring leaves, suggesting a spiritual blessing upon the couple. Pause for thought. The love, the love of a soulmate or very close relationship offers... A safe place where you can be your true self without judgment. A true partnership creates harmony, loyalty, and commitment that can give each partner the strength to overcome more obstacles together than they ever could apart. The power of a loving touch 
can be a force for support and regeneration. The key words, love, partnership, sharing, choice, affection, harmony, equally, uh, equal out, equality, <laughs> hello, equality, relationships, and mutual support. I can't read. It's still early, guys. So for the month of January, the card that they have picked um, in this planner is the lover's card. Okay, so that's kind of, you know, the vibe that's going on for January is to work on those relationships and work on, you know, the true meaning of it and things like that, right? It's very, very cool. All right. So again, for week three, January 14th through the 20th, which I know we're coming into the end of the week, we need to work on meditating, grounding, relaxing, aligning your chakras, kind of being in tune with yourself. Okay, um, so that's it. You know, so again, let me know if that's something that you guys want me to continue doing. Um, I hope that everybody has a great Saturday. And what else do I want to say? I just love your guys' support. Each and every one of you. We're like a family here on YouTube. All right. This is a short video, I know. Um, but I'm just kind of testing it out and seeing what's happening with it, you know. See if you guys enjoy it or, you know, whatever. So, like my video, subscribe to my channel, alright, hit that bell button, and comment below and let me know what you thought, alright, everyone have a great day.